Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to adjust the protein skimmer. The common problem that you have with skimmers these days is the water level. Either that or you have some kind of epoxy or chemical like uh, water conditioning that you added, which in that case, you know, completely disregard this, disregard this video. And what you really have to do is go ahead and do a big water change, at least 30%. And that will clear up the problem hopefully if it doesn't you know go ahead and do another one but a water change usually fixes the issue or something like this like a carbon filter that i have here um, carbon usually absorbs most of the chemicals but it doesn't always work well so the other main issue that you know you have with prone skimmers overflowing the ones that are in sump are is the water level usually in the manual it will tell you how many inches you know of water level you need to have in order to get your skimmer working and you know if that doesn't come up to what it says in the vid in the specifications then you have to make some adjustments usually you can't really control the water inside it maybe you can with a float you know by adding on a top on the top of system but the first thing you would have to do is take a measuring tape like this and make sure you're not over my over your level my parent skimmer is designed to work at seven inches as you can see, you know, I have like an inch and three quarters over of water. So one solution would be, you know, to use egg crate. Stack up a lot of egg crates together, you know, make, make sure you measure them. They're easily cuttable. You can get them at any hardware store like, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever else you're using in your area. Stack them up. That would give you a few inches. You know, that will raise up the protein skimmer a bit and it will work better. Another solution, which I don't really recommend, would be to use Stereofoam. Stereofoam is pretty good, but I honestly, it has, it's a porous material, and every time you're dealing with porous materials, you know, you can have various problems and issues. It's better to avoid it. Go with something like this, egg crate, or some kind of plastic that has, you know, uh, that's not flat, because anything that's flat will float, basically, and will bring your protein skimmer above the water. Maybe it won't, it depends on the weight of your protein skimmer, but there are good chances that it will. Um, so that's it for, for you guys today. Uh, I'll see you later.